hello coders welcome back to the tutorial and guys in this video we are going to see how we can use flowbyte in our next.js application or next.js app router application so guys, if you don't know about the flowbyte flowbyte is an open source ui library which provides us amazing beautiful and elegant components to use in our projects with the flowbyte components you can create a beautiful website without having to design our own components so for example you can get these components accordion and guys the most used components are like uh, navbar you can see here a full fledged navbar which you can directly import in your project and use it so guys this type of component you can use from the flowbyte and you can use these components in any type of project like React.js, Next.js, Vue, Nuxt, Swivel, and Angular. But in this video, we are going to see how we can use this in our Next.js application. So for that, it has a separate library that is called Flowbyte React, which you can find on this domain, flowbytereact.com. And guys, here you can see you can use this specific package that is called React, Flowbyte React, in your Next.js, Remix, Astro, Gatsby, and many other frameworks or libraries but for now let's focus on the next.js and guys to use flowbyte in the next.js we can either use it in our existing projects or we can create a new react or next.js project with the help of flowbyte react command with this command you can create a new project that is going to clone the template with uh, react or next.js or any type of projects from this list so guys if you run this command then it is going to show us some options and we can interactively choose what type of project we want to create and if you directly want to create the next JS application then you can pass this option so for now let's just use this command and try to create a next JS application with the flow byte already set up in it i'm going to create this with the help of code sandbox and guys here in the terminal i'm going to paste that command that is npm create flow white react at the latest if you are using yarn or pnpm or bound you can use these respectively and now i'm going to press enter so now here i'm going to type my project name and i'm going to call it next js flow byte and now from this list i can choose what type of project i'm going to create and guys you can navigate with the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard so for now let's just select the next js and press enter and now it is asking me to create a git repository inside this project for now i'm going to select no and guys now here you can see it has already cloned our next js application with the flow byte already set up in it now you can navigate to the project by writing cd next this flow byte and now just type npm install to install all the required libraries and dependencies we are all done now we can use the flow byte components inside our application but for now let's run the project So guys this is our application right now with the flowbyte and kelvin css already installed inside our next.js application so if you see these configurations in the telvin.config.js and you can see the telvin has been already configured in that so you can see here the plugin has been added and the flowbyte source paths have been added earlier if you wanted to add the source path of flow byte components then you had to manually write the path but now you can use this function from the flow byte to directly add the path of flow byte components from the node modules so now as you have already configured flow byte in our next.js application let's add some components from the flow byte so for example let's try to add um, this card component 
so this is a basic card and we can edit with the help of this card component from the flow by react so if you go to our project then you can see this is the home page and there are already some code written here and you can see the dark theme toggle button has been already imported from the flow white react and used inside our project here i'm not going to change anything just import the card component from the flow white react and now we can just write card component here so, and we can pass the child components like this heading tag and paragraph tag so let's just copy the code from here replace it and now you can see there is a beautiful simple card shown in our application and guys this is how you can create a new project with the tailwind css and flowbyte and use the flowbyte components and guys if you want to use the tailwind css in your existing projects then you can uh, come to this section integration and go to the next js and you can see here different methods to use the tailwind css and flowbyte inside your next js application and even if you have existing next js project then you can use uh, tailwind css and flowbyte inside that by following this tutorial for now let's try to use another components from the flowbyte so for example let's try to use the navbar so this is the navbar and in the source code you can see the navbar component imported from the flow by react and with the navbar you can use the compound components like navbar.brand and navbar.link and navbar.collapse to show the collapsible menus so let's try to just copy this from here paste it in our application i'm going to create a new component inside my folder components and i'm going to write navbar dot dsx and i'm going to export the navbar from here And we have to import the navbar from the flow by react so this is the conflicting name so we can either import it as another name and another way is to change this name so we're going to write navbar my navbar so here you can see this is showing error on the link so we have to import the link from the next select link and now we're all good and now we can import this header inside our app.js or inside our layout so inside the layout we are going to put the header before the children So I'm going to import navbar, my navbar from the component slash navbar. And we also have to change the name here from navbar to my navbar. And now if you refresh this page, then you can see this error. So basically you cannot use the flowbyte components inside the server components as compound components so let me show you what i'm saying so you cannot use this dot brand inside the server components so we have to convert this to client components and now you can see the beautiful navbar inside our application so you can just replace this logo with your own so for now let's just try to remove this and just write to end 
and now you can see our beautiful new bar on the top and if you make it small then you can see the collapsible menu here similarly you can use other components from the flowbyte react and modify however you want to so for now you can see this dark mode toggle button here and i'm going to put it in the navbar so so in our page.tsx you can see this dark theme toggle button so i'm just going to cut it from here and put it in the navbar after the links and we have to import it also dark theme toggle and now you can see this in our navbar similarly you can use these button components and you can see the types of button you can show so basically these are the types of buttons you can show these are warning failure success light dark gray and these are the color schemes so for example this is the simple background color and this is the gradient monochrome colors and these are the gradient double tune so and these are the outline buttons so for example let's try to use this uh, outline and uh, for that you just import the button component from the flowbyte react so in our page.tsx we can just import button and we don't need this now here so remove this and now we can just write a button below the card so and inside this button I'm going to write uh, say hello and now we can use the variance of this button so you can see this button here and now we can just customize with the help of these props so we can use these two props in the combination to show these gradients and outline button and if you use one of them then let's see what happens so outlined and let's see the button so you can see this is the outline now we can also combine the gradient gradient double tone the color names are in this format like purple to blue so you have to put the two color name inside one value that is going to be the starting color and ending color so just put it like this purple to blue and uh, now you can see this beautiful gradient outline button you can use whatever component you want and style it however you want for example this is spinner to show the loading state in our application so that's it for this video i hope you like this video and guys i will bring similar videos in future to show you how you can use the most of flowbyte and create a beautiful website without wasting much of your time so once again thanks for watching this video stay healthy keep coding and keep watching tutorials